All right, guys, so today, or for right now, installing the Brute Force KRX um, foot rest. Goes down here to help you uh, be more comfortable and to keep constant throttle while you are driving in rough terrain. Now you can see I have a throttle max on here now. Unfortunately for me, this just didn't work. And I had one on my T-Rex and I also have one on here, obviously. And the problem I have had, and I had this happen when I was in the mountains in Colorado at 11,000 feet on the cliffs of death. And me pushing this, this would catch. I don't know where it would catch down here, if it would catch up here or here maybe up up here um, at speed would catch and I would have to quickly use my foot to get behind this and pop it out um, there, pop it out, it scared the crap out of me. So I said, I'm gonna pull it off when I get to the house and eight months later, it's still there. So I saw Brute Force had this guy, um, Definitely going to get in the way of the gas pedal and we'll do the job. So uh, $39.99, all you high rollers that have these car actions can easily afford that. So install looks to be fairly easy. Comes with a big washer here, bolt that goes there into the hole that's already down there. And this little self-tapping screw that we're going to put in. So first, obviously, I'm going to pull this big old guy off. But you can see there's a hole here. That's where this bolt and this washer is gonna go. And it's adjustable. So then I'll kind of see, I'll get an arrow up my big old foot and see where is good for me. And then I'll put the additional little uh, self tapper in there. Should be super quick and painless. Let's see. All right, well, I don't know if you can tell, but throttle max is off. And also, um, I used the compressor and blew out a bunch of crap that was in that little hole and uh, cleaned this up a little bit. Probably can't tell or doesn't look like it on here, but I did. And I have spent the last little bit trying to unscrew the screw. Phillips down in there. It is quite on there. So let me work with that a little bit and I'll get back with you. And it's out super easy. As you can tell, super easy. Uh, oh, can of WD-40, over tooled and voila, look at that. Came out, no problem at all. Looks like some cross thread. So when it was put in there, probably done at an angle or something. But anyway, that's out. All right, so I was putting on here, figured I probably should film something. Um, this nut right here is a nine millimeter, FYI. And basically you can see underneath here is that washer. Underneath here and between there is that washer. And bolt just goes into there. Hunt and peck, find a hole in there, uh -huh. and screw that in. I'm gonna tighten it there, then I'm gonna uh, hop in and see how that is with my foot, the distance between there and there and that angle. Kind of using, since I had that throttle max thing on here, see where it was and it rubbed most of the time. So I'm kind of using it as a, um, as a marker for you know what was straight and how that would be. So let me do that and hop in there and we'll see how that uh, how that works. All right, so for me, this ended up working um, pretty well. Put my foot on here, reach the pedal. Um, works fine. I'll try this and let that, you know, I'll have the tools if I need to adjust it, I find if it's not quite where it needs to be. But for now, that's gonna be fine. Rest my heel here, hit that there, and admire 
that massive large toenail right there. All right, so now I will in that little spot right there, put that self-tapping screw in to keep it from sliding back and forth. And that's it. Hope it um, helps somebody. Let me know if you have a better way or any comments. Thanks. All right, a little bonus footage here. Uh, I opted to pre... Let me get my finger out the way. Pre-drill. I think it's a little 532nd or something bit. Pre-drill the hole to make it easier. And to not, you know, trying to keep this thing as least tore up as I can for now. So, going to do that. Screw that little screw in there and be done. And there you go, end product. So, for me... I think I am one, two, three, I don't know, four or five of those holes from uh, from the heel here. If that helps you set your bolt wherever you need to put it. But I'd suggest kind of doing it, testing it with your foot, making sure it's comfortable for you. Some of you have little feet, some got big feet. And going from there. Thanks for watching.